हेलो आई एम डॉक्टर रोहित पाई कंसल्टेंट न्यूरोलॉजिस्ट इन के हॉस्पिटल अंबेडकर सर्कल मैंगलोर टुडे आई वुड लाइक टू टॉक टू यू अबाउट न्यूरो इम्यूनोलॉजिकल डिजॉर्डर्स न्यूरो इम्यूनोलॉजिकल डिजॉर्डर्स आर डिजॉर्डर्स विच आर कॉज ड्यू टू प्रोडक्शन ऑफ एंटीबॉडीज विच आर कॉल्ड एज ऑटो एंटीबॉडीज इन द ब्लड स्ट्रीम विच एक्ट अगेंस्ट द प्रोटीन्स इन द ब्रेन एज वेल एज नर्वस सिस्टम कॉमन न्यूरो इम्यूनोलॉजिकल डिजॉर्डर्स विच यू सी इन डे टू डे प्रैक्टिस आर ए आई डी पी सी आई डी पी माइसिना ग्रेविस एंड मल्टीपल स्क्रोसिस ए आई टी पी विच इज कॉमनली कॉल्ड एस जी बी सिंड्रोम इज कॉज बाय एंटीबॉडीज अगेंस्ट द नर्वस इन द बॉडी इट कैन प्रेजेंट एज वीकनेस ऑफ द अपर लिम एंड लोअर लिम इन सीवियर केसेस इट कैन एफेक्ट द रेस्परेटरी मसल्स एज वेल एज ऑटोनॉमिक नर्वस सिस्टम वेन इट अफेक्ट द रेस्परेटरी मसल्स इट कैन कॉज इम्पैर्ड वेंटिलेशन and the patient may need mechanical ventilation for his survival this can be easily diagnosed by a uh, investigation which is called as nerve conduction test this picks up what we called as demyelination in the nerves after the confirmation of gb syndrome we can easily treat the patient with two modalities of treatment the easier modality which we use is intravenous immunoglo- immunoglobulin which is an injection which is given for 5 days to the patient it can also be treated by a modality called as plasma pheresis where the blood is purified and plasma is injected into the patient with this patient gradually improves over 2 to 3 weeks if this disease progresses beyond 2 months we call it as a disease called as cidp or chronic inflammatory demyelinating polyneuropathy this too is diagnosed by nerve conduction test we may also need a nerve biopsy which is a procedure where a small twig of the nerve is removed and sent for pathological testing cidp2 is easily treated with oral medications we use oral steroids and immunosuppression for cidp myasthenia gravis is another important neuroimmunological disorder here the auto antibodies form against the neuromuscular junction the antibodies commonly found in myasthenia gravis is acetylcholine receptor antibody this antibody attaches to the acetylcholine receptor and impairs the neuromuscular transmission because of this the patient can present with nervous system disorders like extraocular movement problems ptosis or limb weakness when it affects only the muscles of the eye we call it as ocular myasthenia the patient may present with ptosis extraocular muscle palsy which can result in diplopia it can affect the jaw muscles bulbar muscles which are responsible for swallowing if it affects the muscles of the body we call it as generalized myasthenia in severe cases it can affect the respiratory muscles when it affects the respiratory muscles we call it as myasthenic crisis myasthenia gravis also can be easily treated with medicines we usually treat patients with oral steroids and immunosuppression there are very many newer immunosuppression drugs which can be used in myasthenia including rituximab in cases of crisis where there is respiratory paralysis patient may require intravenous immunoglobulin or plasma pheresis multiple sclerosis is another immunological disorder which we see commonly in day to day practice here auto antibodies are formed against the white matter proteins in the brain as well as spinal cord so the patient may present with visual symptoms if it affects the eye where which we call as optic neuritis if it affects the white matter of the brain the patient may present with weakness with imbalance if it affects the white matter of the spinal cord the patient may present with weakness of the lower limbs or upper limbs or the patient may also have bladder problems this too can be easily treated we have injection steroids for a acute relapse of multiple sclerosis whereas for a chronic treatment we use prophylactic medicines initially the prophylactic medicines which were used earlier were interferons which are injections but in today's date and age we have many oral tablets which one is very convenient for the patient two they are more effective than the injections so with this multiple sclerosis can be easily treated managed and we can fight over the disease